Wondering if Granger the Seas is a good ship for you and your kids? We've got the answers for you here. With Granger the Seas being Royal Caribbean's oldest active ship and smallest active ship, it's no wonder why many people are concerned if there's anything for kids to do on board. In this video, we'll cover what there is as far as the nursery goes, what there is for small children and toddlers and teens. We'll cover the activities and the pool options for you. So let's jump into it right now. So first up, let's take a look at Adventure Ocean. Adventure Ocean is obviously the place where the little kids go. They have plenty of teachers there. This is typically from ages three all the way up to about age 12. You can see they have this awesome decompression chamber playhouse slide inside of Adventure Ocean. The kids climb up the stairs. They have this little play area up top. It's actually really nice. And I think it's the only ship I've seen this on. It may be on some others, I'm not sure. It was actually pretty cool. Then you move back, you can see this little locker here is where they keep their arts and crafts. They have this like padded play area off to the left. And this was really cool. It's almost like a jump house, except it's not filled with air. It's just mats and pads. But man, did my daughter love playing in there. As we work our way back, further back here is what the teachers keep calling the big kids room. However, the little kids did use this as well. You can see there, here's some stairs leading into that mat area that the kids could jump in like you just saw my daughter do. So this big kids area you'll see is surrounded all the way around by this couch. And then it's got some storage for some toys and then a TV and some video games. So overall, this area is pretty big and obviously they do arts and crafts like this crown you can see on my daughter here. And as far as free activities, You'll find these ducks all around the ships. My daughter actually found multiple ducks and this little keychain duck, which was pretty cool. So just past the arcade is where we're gonna find the teen area on Grandeur of the Seas. You see they have like a billiard table, a foosball table, maybe an air hockey table back there. And then really it's just a lounge, multiple TVs. I don't really know what else there is for teens to do there. They do play music for them and that's about it. Now several times we went back there, there were teens playing and hanging out there. It is just kind of a cool space for them, their own private area to hang out in. I'm sure they can have fun doing that. I just don't know that it's the most exciting thing for a teenager. The sign on the wall says from 12 to 17. So just know that that's where they would be if they're in that age group. For the nurseries, we have Royal Babies and Tots. There was none on this ship. Every single time we went in there, it was open play because there were no kids there this age. But you can see they have quite a big assortment of toys for them. They always have the uh, CO, CO Melon show on, trying to save you in case your kid's around. As we zoom around, you'll see they also have like a nap area, which is really neat. So the staff can put them down, maybe in a rocking chair, or in one of those cribs, and they also have mats for them to take naps on if they choose to. So moving on to the pools and outdoor activities, this is the pool on Grandeur of the Seas. You have this really shallow, splashy area, four hot tubs, and then the pool. That's it. So as you can see, it was taken over by children right here. And that's where the kids were playing most of the time. The only other pool is in the solarium and it's much smaller, but kids aren't allowed in there, obviously. So other than the pool area, they do have ping pong tables. There's two ping pong tables on board. They're free. You can play them anytime you want. Pretty easy to do. There's a rock climbing wall on the very aft end of the ship, very close to where the ship ends. And they're also right next to that is a large, chessboard with large chess pieces that you can play like life size. There's also like a connect four style game. There's shuffleboard and then there's also tic-tac-toe painted on the ground and that's it. So as far as things for kids to do outside of the kids play area, it's going to be your pools, ping pong, shuffleboard, connect four, rock climbing, that stuff. There is no flow rider and there is no adventure beach or adventure bay on this ship. So just know if you're looking for the kids splash pads where it's dumping water on them, they have their own size slides and stuff like that. There is none of that on this ship. Now there is an arcade on board. It's much smaller than your typical arcade you'd see, but it is a smaller ship. 
and it really feels like they just tried to cram as much stuff in here as they possibly could. What I was most impressed with though was one, this duck game, it is guaranteed wins. So if your kids are having trouble finding a duck, it's $1.50, boom, guaranteed win, keep trying until they catch one. But look at the prizes that they have here. You have PSPs, you have headphones that are of quality, you have JBL quality speakers, you have Oakley sunglasses, Apple watches, all sorts of stuff. I thought those were actually pretty decent prizes for a cruise ship arcade. How easy they are to win, I don't know. So in conclusion, there's not a ton of stuff for kids to do, but there is some stuff. We were on board this ship for 11 days with our daughter and she never ever complained. She loved going to Adventure Ocean or she calls it the kids club, made a ton of friends there and literally runs to it every single time. The teachers were fantastic, especially Miss Cherry, who became my daughter's favorite person. They're all great with the kids. They do tons of arts and crafts and science experiments at that age. So if you're coming with a young child, I would say, while there isn't an adventure beach or adventure bay splash pad for them, there's plenty of other options. Don't hesitate to do it. It's a great time. Hopefully this video has made you a little more comfortable with making a decision as to whether or not Granger would be the right ship for you and your family. For little kids, it's probably fine. I think the area where you're really gonna struggle is that like 10 to 15 year old range. There's not a lot of stuff for them to do there. But either way, make the best decision for your family. If this video has helped you at all, don't forget to like and potentially click on this video here for more cruise related content.